Can we tell where breakfast comes from just by tasting it? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Breakfast is widely regarded to be the most important meal of the day, mm -hmm. followed closely by second breakfast. What about elevensies? What about it? <laughs> Luncheon. Uh, all of those are important, but when you're in America, you pretty much just have to settle for bags. <laughs> bags, 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 bacon and eggs, bags, for short. Which is my way of saying eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. Or bacon. bacon and eggs. Or it's a little, add a little Boring. cheese. That's all we get is bags. But we gonna get out of this country and go around the world and see how people fuel their day right off the bat. It's time to play. Where in the world did these international breakfasts come from? Breakfasts. Okay, this is how this is gonna work. We're gonna be presented with a breakfast, or as my kids when they're younger call them, breakfasts. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna eat those and then guess uh, where on earth they are. And we're gonna articulate that using darts and a big old map over here with a cartographer, Chase the Cartographer. Is there? You we will not. Be, we will not be throwing the darts at Chase, although he is wearing a map shirt. We will be throwing at this map. The way you guess is by throwing it at the country that you think it is, and this is like golf. Remember, we played a game sort of like this before with sauces. The closer you are to the actual guess, the better. And in fact, if you land in the red, it's zero. If you don't land in the red or you land in the wrong country, we measure from Ooh. the little point that's marked there, from the bullseye in each country, and then we add up the total score, and the person with the lowest score at the end wins. Just wins like golf. A, wins a special mythical breakfast. Let's get in with it. <laughs> Round one. All right, bring it in. I guess that's what you meant. Let's right? get in with it. Ooh, okay. We got some sort of a cake with mayonnaise or sour cream. I doubt it's mayonnaise. And apples. It's a bland looking thing. Are those potatoes? No, that is apples. Oh, it's so nice though. Is that cottage, is that cream cheese? Is that cottage cheese? What is that? It's a cheese. It's almost like an English muffin meets a it's pancake. yogurt. I think it's yogurt. It's good, whatever it is. Does it taste different on the desk? No, <laughs> <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> where, where do you think I am? Well, I didn't know how your periphery worked. I was looking right at you when you did it. <laughs> Man, that's good, you going in for another bite? Um, who's gonna go first? I'll go first. Man, that's so good, the cheese. It is good. I think anything up there in like Iceland, Sweden, or Alaska is gonna have some nastiness that this doesn't have in it. Really? Okay, interesting. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, whoops. It hit the white ocean. So I'm gonna have to ask you to step back, Link, so I can get somewhat cl as close as you are. I'm not telling you what I aimed for. It obviously wasn't what I hit. I'm aiming for Iceland because I believe that this m might be from Sweden. <laughs> and I just feel I have a tendency to go a little bit to the right. You think this is Swedish? Yeah. They don't have apples up there, do they? It's too cold. Oh, oh. All right, hopefully it's Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is sirneki, which is a cottage cheese dumpling, or in this case, a pancake. Uh, it's topped with sour cream and caramelized apples and pears from Russia. Oh! Russia? That was the one that we could have actually hit, Link. Dang, Russia's so big. Well, I think I did take, I, well, I won You that are right closer though. to it. Well, Chase, well, how are we faring? <laughs> Rhett, you had 34 centimeters, and Link, you had 50. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Not a good start for this, the Lynx. No, right? but this right here was a good start. Really, really good. I'm moving to Russia. Maybe, well, you know, it's early in the game. I can't make a decision yet. Hmm. Round two. Look at this. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> oh, this looks like a bowl of chili. This looks like leftovers. Is this a bowl of leftover chili? So there's chickpeas. Mm, that's a Clint. That's a Clint. <laughs> that's a Clint. <laughs> Hold on. We went to high school with Hold a guy on. named Clint. <laughs> I, I never, never no, knew he. Let me tell you what happened. I said hint and clue together, and it's a Clint. <laughs> Right. I was like, I started saying the clue and then I changed it to a hint. Clint always loved breakfast. You he remember did. good old Clint? Oh, that's, oh. Mm. Now there's there's a hard boiled egg in the corner. Mm. I'm gonna get a little bit of that. This is so good. And I think I know where it's from. I get to go first, don't I? It's a little bit spicy. It's got some, got a lot of tomatoes, chickpeas. I need no more tasting to know. It doesn't. This is from Morocco. It doesn't taste like breakfast to me. I'm gonna touch you on the belly unless you get out of the way on your own. All right, this got chickpeas. This is from Morocco. Oh! 
Oh, dang! That's yeah. close to Morocco. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. I hope I'm right. The only thing is, it's not from Morocco. Oh, you think it's from Madagascar? It's from Nigeria. <laughs> okay, all right. You might be right with Morocco, but you're so close to it. I got to try something else to assert myself. Really? That's mm. interesting logic. Because <laughs> I could be wrong. So good though. Mm. Okay. Well. Well. Shoot. <laughs> okay. What guys, is it, Stevie? The dish you're eating is called shakshuka. Shakshuka! Which is a dish of eggs poached in the sauce of tomatoes, chili peppers, and onions, often spiced with cumin. Mm. In its present egg and vegetable based form, it is from Morocco. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> I mean, I was pretty close to Morocco, except when I look at your dart, which it's is closer. So good. Chase. All right, Rhett, you had four. Link, nice. you had nine. We were both hey, close, hey, man. Pretty, pretty good round. Pretty good round, if I do say so myself. Round, round three. Oh, this mm. is a full meal. This is good gracious. This Look at this. We've I'm got. Gonna have to go to work on this one. What is this disc? <laughs> That's a sausage. It. It's a hard sausage. Good. <laughs> what is this? This is like a cheese. It's so hard. What is this? I think that's a fried piece of cheese. Man. That's hearty, man. This is so good. And we got this onion in this stovetop stuffing. <laughs> um, I know where they like pickled onions. So that's my guess. Mm. This cheese, I could live off this. I can't figure out what this is, though. But do you need to? It's starchy. It's like taters. Like Middle Eastern taters. Mm. You're up. Did you get any clints from this? These pickled onions. That's a clint for me. Mm. Mm. Man, so salty. They like the salt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You hit Antarctica, which was not a choice, and Went it was not also not on the map. I hit, I missed the map. New rule. If you miss the board, you get a mulligan. All right, now I'm, the... after that, I'm just aiming for the board. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, Saudi Arabia. aiming for the middle of the board. <laughs> Um, what do you think it is? Now that I've thrown, you can just say it overtly. I would be willing to bet all of the money I've ever seen that it's either Iceland, Sweden, or Alaska. But this is kind of American. It is, isn't it? This could be like an Alaskan, but the cheese and the pickled onions. No, nope. just Sweden, throw, Sweden. Throw dart, oh, or Morocco. Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a Morocco magnet, man. I got a freaking Moroccan magnet on my darts. What do we have here, Stevie? This is called Los Tres Golpes. Golpes? Or the three hits. Three hits. It consists of mangu, which is boiled plantains, the stuff that you thought was starchy. Queso frito, which is the fried cheese. Fried cheese. Fried salami and fried eggs from the Dominican Republic. Exactly. Ooh, <laughs> you were so wrong. I beat you on this one. Chase, how do we stand? No, you didn't beat me. Oh, no, I didn't. You're green. <laughs> Link, you had 39, and Rhett was 25 centimeters. Mm. Mm. I've been to the Dominican Republic, and they didn't give me this. Plantains. I didn't know this was plantains. That's what That would have been a dead giveaway. Helped. It would have been a dead giveaway. I don't think it tastes like a plant. Mm. I can smell it now. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm still losing. You're digging a hole here, Link, yeah. even though I'm horribly wrong. <laughs> Round four. <laughs> this one definitely is going to be from a cold culture. Because it's a soup. Ugh. <laughs> this is like gelatinous. It's grits. But is it grits? There's jalapeno. There's a jalapeno and there's a there was a poached egg in there. What? Is that a sausage? This is it's a little spicy. It's hitting me I too. Hit, I hit a part. I hit a part. I hit a spicy part. Oh, man. Clint didn't warn us. I'd be willing to bet all the money I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, keep betting that money. In spite of yourself, you're whooping me handily. Um, this feels Argentinian. All right. Because it's got yeah. jalapenos in it. An egg? This is make a choice, I really McLaughlin. feel like this is a, I gotta make a choice here. This is also, it could be Nepalese. They have jalapenos over there? It feels like something you would eat at the foot of a mountain. Nepal. Ooh, man. See, I thought this was Thailand. Because Thai food, they'll throw a little spicy in something. They will, and they'll do a little donut-ish thing. Man, I was gonna go for Thailand, but I'm losing so poorly that I've gotta go... Argentina? I've gotta go opposite you. Okay. Were you tricking me when you said Argentina? <laughs> I may have been tricking you the whole time, man. Because you don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I'm right. just throwing. Oh. 
be kind of <laughs> high. Okay, what do we got, Stevie? This is a thick rice porridge called joke. Joke? Joke. It's hmm. made from broken rice boiled in water or broth and then enriched with minced pork balls, sliced chicken, or poached shrimp. Pork balls. And often a raw egg lightly cooked in the hot porridge. I'm bad. From I'm bad off, man. Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting good lucky today. You're acing the test in spite of yourself, man. <laughs> okay, what do we got right now, Chase? All right, Rhett, you had seven centimeters. Mm, that's pretty close. And Link, you had 48. Mm. Argentinians need to look into this, man. Yeah, yeah. They would love this they down would, there in would, Argentina. They would, they would love it. <laughs> Round five. <laughs> 70 to 146. Okay, but you know what, Link? I believe that there's enough room on that map to accommodate a win if I'm horribly wrong and you're horribly right in the last round. Uh oh. Speaking of horrible, whatever's on squiggled on the top of this is not gonna be to my liking, I bet. It looks like Why a worm. Is it on everything. Mm. This is gonna be some sort of it's, fish paste. It's stinky fish. I don't even have to taste this to know it's from Iceland or Sweden. Well, you better. No, I'd on, bet all the egg. money I've ever seen. Eat it on the egg. Why are you doing it? I'm just gonna watch you do it. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Who are you waving at, Clint? <laughs> hey, Clint! I need Clint to come and be a surrogate taster. Oh my gosh, man, you're making me skirt. Try that, try that on for size. <coughs> <coughs> oh, come on, man, take a trip to Iceland with me. <coughs> it tastes like it's good for you. It tastes like you got some of those fish, <coughs> fish oil pills, and then you decide to chew them instead of swallow them. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Who, who's going first on this round, me? I think you need to since I'm losing so poorly. Okay, Link, as I have stated, I would I, bet I, all the money I've ever seen that this is from Iceland or Sweden. But you know what? It could also be from Madagascar. I think it is, right? But I think you're right. I think you're onto something. I mean. What's around Madagascar? Water. Every side. Fish. And what do those fish make? Squiggly pink lines on stuff. Right? Listen, I think it's Iceland or Sweden, but you know what? It might be Madagascar. Do you want you want Madagascar, or do you want me to take Madagascar? You know, I'm gonna be the bigger man. I think you should take Madagascar. <laughs> Ooh, so close to that wrong answer. Thanks for helping me okay. out here. Okay, all right. Let's see what you got, Link. Man, because if you hit Sweden right in the middle of that bullseye, you'll get zero, man. Right in the middle. All right, I'm going for Iceland. Whoa! Ooh. Pretty nice. Can I make up the difference? Okay, guys, this is a creamy smoked cod caviar spread known as Kales spread Ooh, on eggs and toast. it's caviar. I just burped a little bit. Sweden. Sweden. Oh, I, I got all the money I've ever seen back. It's not Iceland. All right, Chase, what, what's our result this round? All right, Link, you had nine, and Rhett, you had 31. Oh. So overall, that means you still win, Rhett, so congratulations. Uh, I win a special breakfast. You win the special mythical breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'll share a little bit of the breakfast with you because of my totally ridiculous bet where I lost all the money I've ever seen about this being that one thing being from the icy countries. Mm. You can have some of my breakfast. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Greg. And I'm Jen, and we're from Dayton, Ohio. And we're in the Blue Lagoon in Iceland. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. When you eat breakfast, you should accompany it with a drink and a good mythical mug available at redandlane.com slash store. Also, make sure you watch this week's episode of Good Mythical Crew tomorrow morning where you can see a competition for the breakfast that was made that we're about to eat in Good Mythical More. Click through for that. Hitmen hired to kill each other. Hey, what does your guy look like? Well, he's kind of tall. What's your guy look like? He's got glasses. What else about your guy? He's got on a plaid shirt today, I heard. You guy's got a beard. And like a, uh, like he's got he's wearing a badge. He's some sort of a... Your guy or your guy? My guy. Yeah. If I go home tonight and, and my family's like, surprise, breakfast for dinner, I'll be like, oh, I'm so excited. But not today, though. Any day.